One of the pillars of this channel is portable battery and solar power for field communication, self-reliance, and preparedness. So the amount of effort, the amount of time we spend on DIY builds and engineering new solutions is something viewers of this channel have come to expect. But since there's no one-size-fits-all solution for every scenario, we need to keep stepping up the game. So today, we're building the most advanced DIY portable solar generator you've seen on YouTube to date. Today's build is a 12-volt, 576-watt-hour lithium iron phosphate solar generator. All right, guys, let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Supporting this build is the Best Tech BMS. That's the same BMS we used in the original 10 amp hour, 50 amp current load uh, build earlier in 2018. Now let's connect up the balance leads. We're not going to connect the balance connector to the BMS. We're just going to take the end of the leads and connect them to the pack. The BMS we're using for this build has four balance leads. Uh, one is connected to the battery plus, the next is connected to battery four, three, two, and one. Battery minus is not connected. The link to the BMS we're using for this project can be found in the description and the episode notes. The very first thing I do is mark the balance lead connector so I know which side is battery minus. This just provides us with another reference point so we don't mix up our balance leads. So now go ahead and find the mark you placed on the balance lead connector. Remember, we're not going to connect the balance lead to the BMS while we're connecting these leads. Now find that first lead coming off of the mark and connect that to the positive side of your battery minus. That may sound a little confusing, but use the wiring diagram from a couple of minutes ago in the video as a reference. This lead is referenced as battery one in the wiring diagram. Once you've got the lead for battery one wired up, find the lead for battery two. From the BMS perspective, it's the one right next to the one you've already connected. Now you can go ahead and find that location you've marked on the pack and connect it up. Now we're going to repeat that for battery 3 and battery 4. Remember battery 4 and battery plus are on the same bus bar. While we do that, let's talk about modularity in this solar generator. So some of you have noticed we are building modules in the solar generator. One module is the storage module and that's actually the battery. What we're working on now is battery management. We break the system down into modules for two reasons. First, to make it simpler to build, and second, so we learn about the system as we build it. Now we have all the balance leads on the pack, so we can start buttoning it up. Now we've already integrated the balance leads into the battery module, but now we need to integrate the BMS with the battery as well. In the 10 amp hour headway build we did last year, I showed everyone how to solder up this BMS. I'm not going to do that now. Instead, I'm going to show you all the connections, where they go, and what they're for. In addition to the balance leads we just installed, the BMS has two connections. The first connection is B-, and that goes to the negative side of your battery. The other side goes to our fuse block and accessories we'd like to power. That's also where our charge controller comes in. Surprisingly, there's an awful lot of haters on my channel who oppose the use of the BMS board. Well, if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you already understand that all of my battery builds are built around a quality BMS. 
So for the BMS haters, here's a few reasons why we should use the BMS. First of all, we get high voltage protection, we get low voltage protection, and we get short circuit protection, and of course, we balance the cells. Well, the haters are going to ask, well, why don't we simply bottom balance? And the answer is because bottom balancing doesn't offer us high and low voltage protection. It doesn't offer us short circuit protection, and it doesn't do anything for protecting our cells. So this is the 4S Best Tech BMS for lithium iron phosphate cells. This is the same BMS we used for the original headway build. So based on the comments in the video from builders, as well as myself, we've had really good luck with this board. We've also been able to secure a distributor from the United States who's giving us free shipping and ships pretty fast, so none of this waiting for six months from China for something to arrive. Now, because we're installing this BMS and the cells in an enclosure to become a solar generator, I wanted to encapsulate the BMS uh, in some sort of structure to let it breathe, but to protect it from knocks and bangs and things like that. Now you all can laugh all you'd like, I'll take it and <laughs> leave me your feedback in the comments, but I decided to use a couple of cutting boards to secure the BMS in front of the pack. I'm sure some of you clever 3D printing guys could print up something like this, and if you do, please reach out and uh, we'll share it on the channel. But uh, for now, this was the cheapest, easiest way to protect the BMS inside the enclosure with the cells.